リンオカリンちょっと来て She holds the costume and tells me so I don't understand what's up I stop supporting Kurosu and walk up to Mayuri when これをね持っててくれないかなこうしてピローンって広げて、uh, Sure whatever マユシ今のビローンもう一度ダロー overheard from his computer ビローンビローンいただきました、uh, really? もうやだこの変態 Following Mayuri's directions I spread the costume out with by the sleeves She inspects it from a distance マイユリ・アンエクスペクティリー・ハス・デ・テンパメント・オブ・アン・アーティスト。That's why cosplayers value my Yuri's costume so highly. But the costume I'm holding now is custom made for Rukuko. I thought Rukuko was against it, but I guess my Yuri finished her persuasion. うん、ありがとう Her face looks a little tired. Perhaps since she stayed up all night. But my Yuri's face was all smiles. 完成かうんクリスちゃんより先にできたよ競争してたんだ、oh、my God, I just realized. Look at Daru's fucking nose. 負けたわマユリお見事ね Damn assistant. She's like, an inter- she's like an entirely different person with Daru and me What's with that look of an old elder sister upon her younger sister? でも、こっちももう終わりよ。ケルスフィニッシュ・コネクティング・ザ・トゥ・コーツ・ヒス・ハウディング。完成。The instant ケルスフィニッシュ・コネクティング・ザ・トゥ・コーツ・ヒス・ハウディング。ケルスフィニッシュ・コネクティング・ザ・トゥ・コーツ・ヒス・ハウディング。We're not pumped at all. Like I said, I don't feel joyous either. It's not because we're tired. A time machine. Though it only sends consciousness, it is a device that can transcend space time. We feverently worked these past few days just to complete it. But, once we actually complete it, that heat rapidly froze. I never thought we'd actually complete it. Such thoughts cross my mind. What are we doing? What are we doing with this? Finally, I peep at Kurusu and Daru's expressions. Kurusu's also making an awkward face. We are going to be able to do it. We may just have, Kurusu. We may just have. We may just have, Kurusu. We may just have. I, gl- eh. I look at the improved microwave phone temp again. The biggest improvement is the headgear attached to the 68, 68,000. It looks like some B grade cyberpunk gimmick. The pin jacks at the, at the nape of the neck and the back of the head are unnecessary. The tip burying itself in the, into the skull is unnecessary. Hold on, I want to look at it. Hmm. Kind of cool looking, honestly. Georgia Max Coffee. I've never heard of that coffee brand before. You can have Dr. Pepper, but you can't have actual coffee. Or maybe it's a Japanese coffee, I'm not sure. That mouse is also weird and looking to me. The one on the very left? Eh, maybe it's not a mouse, I don't know. It's actually a simple device, but you just need to put on the headgear. It looks cheap. But I can turn the blind eye to that much. とりあえず、正式名称を決めようではないか。ヘブンリー・エクスプレス。電話レンジ、サードエディション、バージョン 1.00。帽子付き電話レンジちゃん。<笑> Splitting options, or opinions. あんたたちって本当に能天気ね。クリスティーナは危険かタイムリープマシン
Surprisingly simple. これはひどい。な、何よ。シンプルイズベストでしょ。この二日間、岡部だってそのネーミングで呼んでたし。助手はネーミングセンスゼロのようだ。ね。中二病丸出しのあんたに言われたくない。おお。まさかマキセシが中二病って言葉を知ってるとは。やるじゃん。The barefaced lie. She should just con confess and say, "I'm a person who really likes that channel." Gurusu grits my grin with a glacial glare. Mayuri, 最終決定権者としてどれか一つ選んでくれ Mayuri holds the right to decide the final name. That's the lab's silent agreement. マユシのことだからそうなると思ったぞな。だから言ったでしょ。シンプルイズベストだって。マユリはよくわかってる。えへへ。I was about to object, but it's an unwritten law not to complain once Mayuri's made a decision. では、タイムリープマシンで決定とする。Yep. 助手、全員にわかるように。このタイムリープマシンの仕組みについてレクチャーしてくれ。Her outline, ひと言で言うと、これは記憶をデータ化してリング得意点を通過させ過去へ飛ばす装置。電話レンジには偶然にもタイターが語ったタイムマシンとほぼ同じ機能が備えられていた。リング得意点を生み出し、そのトンネルを通って過去へと36倍とプラスアルファのデータを転送することができる。局所化して、つまり過去のどこへ到達するかについては、携帯電話に限定することでクリアした。D メールと違って、今回は電話をかける形にしたから、メールアドレスじゃなくて電話番号によって局所化指定することになる。生み出されたリング得意点の超重力を安定させ。裸にするための電子注入装置、リフターの役割は開花の42型ブラウン管がそれを担ってる。What she's explained so far is the microwave oven temp's function. Now comes the explanation for Kudus's improvements. 電話レンジには新たにヘッドギアを接続した。これによって即答よ。正確に言うと海馬の CA3 に蓄積されている記憶の神経パルスパターンを操作するの。その解析データは VR 技術を用いて神経パルス信号から電気信号へとエンコードしデータ化される。データ容量はおよそ 3.24 テラだお。テラ？ I don't know if that's a large number or a small number to describe the entirety of, of memories. ちなみにこのデータにはあらかじめ次元式のデコードプログラムを仕掛けておく。これはプログラムに詳しい人なら誰でもできるものよ。橋田にプログラムを作ってもらった。この電気信号データをネットを通してフランスにあるセルンの LHC へと転送。For some reason, this building has a mysterious, mysterious direct link to CERN. We can transfer by huge amounts of data, a huge amount of data, at considerably higher power speed. 3.24 テラのデータを転送するのにかかる時間は。直通回線は1本だけじゃなくて、64本が束になってるんだ。だから64分割して並列に送れば、だいたい45秒ぐらいでいけると思われ。That's unexpectedly fast. LHC を遠隔操作してミニブラックホールを作ったら。その周辺で生み出される超重力による無限圧縮を利用してデータを36バイトまで圧縮する。Hmm, three teras is about three trillion bytes. Compressing that into 36 bytes, that's like a con contortionist trick. Contortionist trick. 圧縮にも時間がかかるのか
、こっちは一瞬。何しろブラックホールの力使ってるから、だいたい23ミリ秒でいける。ちなみに、バイナリデータの超圧縮は、ミニブラックホール周辺でのみ有効よ。そこから離れた時点で、データは勝手に回答を始めてしまう。回答までにかかる時間も、圧縮時と同じ23ミリ秒。その間に、LHC からこのペケロッパを経由して電話レンジまで戻さないといけない。ま、36バイトプラスアルファ程度のデータなら楽勝で間に合うお。クリスティーナ。タイムリープマシン側では、起動と同時にカーブラックホール効果が発生して、リング特異点が生成されてる。放電現象が発生したら、LHC から36バイトプラスアルファまで圧縮したデータを戻し、リング得意店内を通り抜きさせる。この辺は電話レンジとやることは同じ。データはタイマーに入力しておいた時間分を遡り、過去の携帯電話へとつながる。リング得意店を通り抜けて過去の携帯電話に到達する頃には23ミリ秒が経過してデータは自動的に回答されてるはず。回答と同時にレコードプログラムが展開して、電気信号から神経パルス信号に戻す。受信先の携帯電話に到達すると、神経パルス信号は、相和口から 0.02 アンペアほどの微弱な放電現象となって発せられるの。これが、携帯電話を耳に当てている受信者の、こめかみ付近に放射されるわけ。受信者が電話の呼び出しに出るのが前提だな。出なければ、記憶の転送は失敗に終わる。まあ、この場合は特にデメリットは何もないわ。コピーデータが消滅するだけだから。メールではなく、電話をかけることにした理由は携帯電話が受信者のこめかみ付近にあることで、データを受信者の側頭用に送り込みやすくなるから。人間のこめかみ周辺には、大脳前頭用と大脳側頭用が一致してるんだけど、最初に言った通り、側頭用は会話妨害があって、記憶を貯蓄する場所なの。そこに、送信者の全記憶の塊である神経パルス信号が、携帯電話から放射される。これで、記憶の上書きは完了。All right then. That all seems very simple, doesn't it? 同時に、携帯電話からは前頭葉を刺激する神経パルス信号も出すわ。これ重要。前頭葉から側頭葉へは、トップダウン記憶検索信号というのが発信されてる。これは記憶を思い出すときに発信される信号。前頭葉を刺激する神経パルスを放射することで、このトップダウン記憶検索信号を意図的に発信させる。これによって、送信者から送られた全記憶を受信者に強制的に思い出させるという作用が発生する。未来の記憶を思い出すのよ。それに必要な時間は、一秒に満たない。結果、受信者は送信者と全く同じ記憶を持つ状態となり、タイムリープは完了。例えば、送信者と受信者の時間差が一週間ある場合、受信者は一週間後の未来までに自分が体験した記憶を思い出すことになるわけ。注意すべきなのは、意識や人格は転送しないということ。その二つは、受信者に依存するおっぱいに例えて教えてくれおおっ ?Place of Kurusu, silently blushing, I try to explain instead. Obviously not with boobs though. 現在のダルの記憶を小学生の頃のダルへと転送したとする今のダルは二次元にも三次元にも無機物にも燃えられる変態だが小学生時代はまだまだ無邪気な花垂れ小僧だったはず小学校時代の僕はそれは真面目なクソガキでしたが何かつまり記憶は今の19歳の変態ダルのものだが意識人格はその真面目なクソガキのままとなる見た目は子供頭脳は大人な名探偵は成立しないということだなんだつまらん It's slightly different from time like leaping of consciousness itself in the sci fi novels. That's as much as we can draw. That's as much as we can do right now. 
っと、携帯がブラックホールとホワイトホールのような役割を果たすから、記憶を遅れるのは、自分が携帯を持ってる時期の範囲内になる。注意すべきなのは、送信者と受信者は、同一人物でなければならないということ。例えば、過去の自分ではなく、親や友達が代わりに出てしまった場合、神経パルス信号は、その親や友達に向けて放射される。そうなると、親や友達の体に、送信者の記憶が上書きされてしまう。下手をすると、重大な人格障害が起きるかもしれない。Go to see Daru and I, we get each other's faces. Mayuri seems burned out by the difficult conversation. So, t h e r I clear my throat and tell you my facial expression. I gulp down hard. Do you see? Do you see? The time leap machine no at sky needs it. My usually strong and bold assistant says nothing. She said we made something outrageous, so I guess Kurusu is somewhat feeling what I'm feeling. Noticing my glance, Kurusu finally begins to speak reluctantly. Uh, hold on a second, I need to fix some settings. Alright then, I'm back. She says it without seeming to agree with it. She most likely wants to try experimenting in her heart of hearts. But she doesn't say so. History's first time machine, which makes, which makes trespassing onto God's territory possible. Most likely every national and international organization would want that. And the money they'd pay out for that. Would surely reach hundreds of millions. This device holds possibilities that tremendous, that tremendous and fierce. Jikanga wakanaina. Mayushi mo wakanaio. Ya Mayushi wa namo tezdate naikara sho. Ah, Okabe no iken wa? Ah, ちなみに Hoo in じゃなくて Okabe no iken ne. My opinion's the same as Kurusu's. On the other hand, for now, I mutter my true intentions. I notice Kurusu's loss of breath. This is unknown territory for us. No, for humanity. I look at the faces of the three lab mems. Dara quickly looks away. Mayuri's burned out. Kurusu stares at me. Dara te kimiru no wa muzukashi. Boku wa pas. Not a single person here wants to assertively, assertively take the honor to be history's first. Everyone, except for Mayuri, He's probably thinking about the worst case scenario. What if the time leap were to fail? s i r u n no time machine みたいにジェリーマン化する可能性はゼロよ。このマシンで送るのはデータであって、実物じゃないんだから。タイムリープに対する先入観にとらわれないで。まるで意識そのものをカットペーストするように思われるかもしれないけど、そうじゃなくて、あくまでもコピーペーストなのしかも記憶だけよねオリジナルが消えることはない That's a very easy to understand example But that's not the problem Time flows in one line from the past to present to future That's how time normally is to humans Several problems pop up based on that idea 過去へ転送したデータが何らかのミスでフラクタル構造化してしまう可能性はあるもし仮に
俺が1時間前へタイムリープしたとしてフラクタル構造化によりスカスカになった記憶データが1時間前の俺の脳にぶち込まれるかもしれないそれは一種の記憶喪失と同じ状態になりかねないのではかもねもしそうなった場合その1時間後には現在に到達することになるその時1時間遡った記憶喪失の俺と現在の俺が俺の脳で競合するわけだがどちらのデータが生き理屈で考えれば1時間前にコピーが移された時点で今も変化するから the conflicting current me disappears then. それはつまりコピーペーストではないということにならないかわからない未だかつて時間を超越した前例なんて一つもないから D メールでは世界は改変後に沿って再構成された I'm the only one who recognizes that, though. タイムリープしてどうなるかはわからないのよダイターが言うように多世界解釈ならタイムリープした時点で別の世界線に分岐する可能性と同じ世界線のまま時間だけを遡る可能性が同時に存在することになる。と同時に、現在の岡部が消えない可能性の世界線も当然存在しているわけで、おそらくこの、現在は、それに該当することになると思う。But that's only if man, if many worlds interpretation holds in the first place. お前は、タイターの言うことは信じていないのではなかったのか可能性の話をしている。タイターはこの際どうでもいい。コペンハーゲン解釈なら、あらゆる状態が波動関数として空間に広がっていることになる。そして、観測者が観測した瞬間、どちらかに状態が収束する。観測者は誰かというのも問題だ。第三者じゃねえ僕とか眉石とかそうとは限らない観測者は俺かもしれないしそれ以外の誰かかもしれないし神かもしれない place, place, humans, or the worldは意識はどこにあるという問題に行き着くこのタイムリープマシーンが転送するのはあくまで記憶だけそれは間違いない転送された時点で今も再構成されるんじゃねオカリンはリーディングシュタイナーでそれと同じような現象に遭遇したわけっしょ D メールの場合はそれで納得できたあれは過去にメールで干渉する行為だというのが明確だったからなしかしタイムリープは自分の記憶を過去へ送り込む行為であり干渉するかしないかは明確にしていない未来の記憶を思い出した1時間前の俺が因果に干渉するのかしないのかはその状況になってみなければわからないはず頭がなんかもう宗教の分野じゃねえ魂はどこにあるかって話しよう待ってあんたたちは勘違いしている人格と意識は1時間前の岡部も今の岡部も何も変わらないいや、yeah,いや。We're all pretty much just throwing out speculations and possibilities right now at this point. <sighs> this discussion is going nowhere. 
Personality and consciousness can't be strictly defined, so it's hard to imagine it. In the end, we won't know until we try. Everything ends up at those words. And the exper experimental subject must be prepared to, to risk breaking their consciousness. Kurosu, Dara, and I say no more. We can't solve this problem. This is our limit at the end. But isn't it enough that we've come this far? That itself is worthy of a Nobel Prize. And can we get filthy rich just by selling this technology for hundreds of millions? And if we announce the Time Leap Machine to the world, we can obstruct CERN's monopoly to the, on the technology. I try to forcefully persuade myself. Mayuri, who was until then burned out with her mouth half open, finally came back to life. Mayuri,ね、難しいことはよくわかんないけど、例えばね、マユシーの買ってきたバナナをタイムリープさせるのはどうかな。マユリったらバナナには人間みたいに脳はないでしょ。My ear is no different from normal. I feel our tense atmosphere loosen up. The Thanks to that, I could begin to say it. Kurosu and Daru didn't oppose. My hand's falling asleep right now, I don't know why. After that, nobody tried to launch the time loop machine. Or touch it. It might blow your memories into the past just by touching it. That's how we felt. Although it's absurd, of course. I might become humanity's first time leaper. That curiosity couldn't kill the fear of the unknown. Just how should we react to that fear? Before we knew it, we talked about having a small celebration. We kind of feel the need to let loose after working all night. Nobody opposed the notion. I have Daru order pizza while Kudus and I go shopping for snacks. Akiba has a sphere lack of supermarkets. It's the same even after the Moa shops disappeared and turned to the town retro. After we finish shopping, Kurusu and I walk along the evening Akiba streets. <laughs> Kurusu begins walking next to me for a while, looking like she wants to say something. She keeps stealing glances at me. Humanka. Human? Doesn't look like she expected that word from me. Finally, she faces this way. Masaka? <laughs> ありがとう。人間は根源的に時間的存在者である。ハイデガーの言葉よ。あんたが実験はしないと決めてくれた時、私はむしろほっとした。誰か止める人がいてくれなかったら、私は歯止めが効かなくなってたかも。ありがとう
he'd probably get all excited and say, A real Sundare, FTW! Kurisu <laughs> hears the... clears her throat, returning to her usual so sour face. Eh, I'm gonna take it the wrong way exactly. You love him, don't you? Don't fucking deny it! ラボメンナンバー001であり、ラボの設立者であるこの俺、法院教魔が最も優先するのはラボメンを危険から守ること。だからお前は感謝する必要はない。ラボメンは俺の味方であり、世界は俺の敵である。Yeah, fuck the world. My friends are important to me. あ、切れて言葉も出ない。あんたって独善的すぎ。言葉なら出ているではないか。上げ足取るな。It's mysterious if you think about it. It's still been just two weeks since Kurisu and I met. And yet, it be, yet it's become so formal. Her to be next to me is the lab man. Uh, I can't fucking read and speak today. Though we may have shackled together when we made that outrageous object, this genius girl's wealth of knowledge sure is wonderful. I'd like her to stay the, as the lab man by all means. But she said she'd be going to return to America this month. It's already the 13th. So I, know, I wonder when she plans to return. So, Eva! That's how she answered when I asked. Time-リープマシンを公表すれば、世間は大騒ぎになる。セルン告発もしなければならない。帰ることはできなくなるぞ。あ、そうか。となると、ママに電話しておかないと。Looks like some... Uh, looks like things are going to get busy. Naturally, I want Kurisu to stay with us to the end. A little bit after we return to the lab, Mayuri gets back. Du -du -du! Ta -ma! Welcome back. Seems Mayuri went to Rukuko's. Our development council starts with the Suzuha also participating. Daru ordered three pizzas. We also lined up to all the snacks we bought on the table. It's the same scene as the party we had to cheer up Suzuha a few days ago. It seems like Mayuri wanted to decorate the room, but since everyone's tired, I dismissed it as unnecessary. Seems like Suzuha safely secured her sweater from the manager. Yeah, yeah, that guy is much more perverted than I thought he would ever be. The brawn tube workshop's already closed for today. I checked the Suzuha to make sure the 42-inch brawn tube TV is off, so there's no need to fear failure from the time leap machine. Upon hearing that, I took a big sigh and freed my body from the stress. Then I noticed that I've been nervous these five hours since the time leap machine's been complete. <clears throat> Even when we started to develop the, count the development council, Kudosu didn't touch the topic at all of the type link machine. That topic is too taboo in this party. It's become that sort of atmosphere. Daru, why did you order the same pizza in the same time as the other one? I had opened the delivered pizza boxes to find the exact same ones as for Suzuha's party. Zubari, my enemy. Naturally, I'm shocked. That's completely and utterly fine. Uh, everybody I like, f the ma all the characters I really like the most are here anyway, so hey, at the very least there's that. Shimatta! Oh, 
ルカちゃんはなんだか恥ずかしそうにしてたよ、うん、ここに来たらまたマユリのコスを着させられるって思ったんじゃないコスプレの件かもしかしてまだ説得できていないのかおかしいんだって。可愛いは正義なのに。可愛いは正義って。そんな言葉が流行ってるんだ。クリスちゃんもね。可愛いよね。え。え。え。クリスは。クリスは。クリスは。クリスは。クリスは。クリスは。クリスは。クリスは。クリスは。クリスは。クリスは。クリスは。クリスは。ねえねえ今度のコミマに出てみないなんだよそんなに言うとみんなに言うとみんなに言うとみんなに言うとみんなに言うとみんなに言うとみんなに言うとみんなに言うとみんなに言うとみんなに言うとみんなに言うとみんなに言うとみんなに言うと But just makes a difficult face and then murmurs. Just to kill me, or bitch, you didn't look interested at all before. Ah, but what does most of my need to know? I'll go to a little girl. Get a kid, eh? They're more so no Jimmy Nanny meet him or I take an area. Cosplay, and you are so sad. And my mono son goes in there. Is that you? Are you the cosplay demon? Demon. So, Eva, Christian, there, it's a Makawai, safe cook, Terrione. Demo, Kona, safe cook, don't I need a talk? Oh, Kore? Here's a buzz at her necktie. Nishu Kandake, I am in the Gakuruga Kumita in a cotus de Tandakido. So, Kona, safe cook, Kaizo stick t e r n o Oh, I am in. この制服もともと可愛いもんねでもクリスちゃんの改造センスはねすごくいいかも明日コス持ってくるねそしたら試着してくれるえいいわ Well that's gonna be an interesting day isn't it Looks like Kurushu approves of the message of cutest justice 撮影会は何時からですか相変わらず橋田は変態道を邁進中だなだってブラチューのセイラっしょあれって確かパンモロだぞパンモロパンツがモロに見えているの略え嘘大丈夫だよクリスちゃんは知らないかもだけどね去年ぐらいにこんな言葉が流行ったんだよパンツじゃないから恥ずかしくないもんって<笑> What? いやいや恥ずかしいでしょ絶対来てね絶対だよやめといた方がいいんじゃないかな Forcing a way through with a sharp voice is Suzuha Oh shit stuff's going down Oh no get ready for a fight She scowls at Kurusu like usual. The formerly fun atmosphere freezes in an instant. Nakise Kurisu will see you to Itai me now, yo. See, I told you. I was totally friggin' right. Look at him. Look at him fight. This is gonna be fucking bloody and probably not epic, but you know, it'll be fun. So, what do you mean? And there's also my, my usual assistant, Kurusu. Naturally, she shows no signs of running from the fight. Sparks begin to fly between the two girls. でも私知ってるんだから君の本質ってのをさへえすごい
、私の心の中を覗いたんだ。画期的な発明だから、ぜひその独身装置を見せてもらいたいもんだわ。装置なんてないよ。強いて言うなら、予言。つまり、言いがかりってことか。事実だってば。You've got a situation. おかわり。My Yuri clings to me with teary eyes. How the hell am I so. Don't throw me in there! Come on, My Yuri! You should look at them! They're gonna go at it, and if I go in there, they're gonna start attacking me! You're gonna die. I step between them, grab their shoulders, and separate them. Dude, look at them. They're totally gonna fucking murder you now. Oh my god, this is gonna be horrible. But entertaining. So there's that, at the very least. They glare at me. Though flinching, I endure it without exposing my fear. Though, first, I focus on Kurusu. Joshu, yo. Ore wa omae o. Sono yo ni sodateta oboe wa nai zo. Sodate rare ta oboe mo nai. Mad scientist o mezasu ue de. Motto mo hitsyo na koto o shiye te yaro. Snouchi. Kyomen wa atsuku. Oku soko de wa tsumetaku. Kiite nai. Naru tsumori mo nai. Uh, this is going horribly already. Next, I switch focus to Suzuha. Senshiro, Omega, Ragnarok, and Oite Tatakaubekiwa, Serum, no Hazda. Oka de Rintaro niwa Chuko Stayone. Maki se Kuris niwa Kiotske Tete. You going to talk about that here? Now? Hmm. どういうことよ、岡部。I wanted to run away from their cool glances staring daggers at me. But my Yuri switching, twitching anxiously. Watches it. Ah, damn it. Watching anxiously. I need to fulfill a request somehow or another. ふぅーははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははだから、将来、社会に出るときのために、これだけは自覚しておけ。お前たちは二人とも、空気が読めないうるさい Now, getting told by both of them at the same time sends chills down my spine. I endure my gripping right wrist. And then I take, then I take a right about face and head back to my Yuri. My Yuri, it's not good. I'm going to kill you both. So I'm going to kill you. My Yuri puffs her cheeks out to contain her anger. And intervenes in my place. Two of Then the two of them reluctantly comply. As expected of the all to our group's gears. It's because my Yuri's a lab member that things don't go crazy. The throbbing in my right arm dissipates. The herd takes care of Suzuha, returning peace to the lab. Cruz is in development room, making a call. Probably to her mother in America, I guess. I sit on the sofa, drinking Dr. Pepper, watching TV. What's on is a variety of programs about the prices of popular meals at high class restaurants. Mayuri sits down next to me. She peels a banana and begins eating it. Nana, Okari? Hmm? Mayuri slowly looks around the lab, 
smiling all the while. It has been a while, hasn't it? Although for me it's been more of a few months, but whatever. I established the future gadget lab laboratory at the same time as I entered college to make my debut, yeah, my debut upon the world. That was around the middle of March this year, which means it's almost been five months. Not half a month after it was established, my ears started staying here with an ambiguous reason and became a lab mem. So from then until the start of Golden Week, when I finally got Daru to change his mind by telling him the lab's a 30 minute walk away from May Queen Nyan Nyan, nobody was in the lab except for me and my Yuri. It's originally located in a quiet place just outside of Akiba. My Yuri's not the type to object to every little thing like Kurusu, nor the type of to making dumbass jokes like Daru. So the lab was very peaceful back then. With that said, I was comfortable in those calm times. Before I realized it, the lab mem count increased to eight. They didn't come today, Baruka go visits occasionally, and Ferris is a familiar face of May Queen Nyan Nyan. But it's gone now. To someone from Ikebukuro like me, Agiba was a different town at first, but now, it's like a second home town to me. Yeah. Yeah, it sure is, Mayuri. Mayuri also seems happy that there are other people in the lab. Hey, the more the merrier, right? <laughs> well, then I guess we'll have to buy some. The sofa in the center only sits only two people. Then there's a then there's Dora's personal desk chair. Those are the only chairs in the lounge. Though there are some pipe chairs in the development room. Then I need to start working again. マユシーのバイト代もちょっと出していいよ。あとはね、電子レンジ新しいの買わないと重心から揚げナンバーワンが温められないよ。What do Cutting off Mayuri's Kurage supply puts her in a life or death situation. Daga Mayuri, time leap machine or jolt to stay, share or more ever. Monday was a bit of a kiss through. Is to day she didn't know die king to more I'll say, more to more I'll sorry about cutting you off there. So, Nanda, you got the nail, Kari. No, there's on any reason on that. お友達たくさんできたもん。誰くんでしょ？クリスちゃんでしょ？ルカちゃんでしょ？スズさん、マイカさん、フェリスちゃん、店長さん、ナエちゃん、他にも他にも。She squints her eyes, as if looking for a far to a faraway place. あるの頃は。ポカリはとっても寂しそうだったけど、もう大丈夫だね。マユシーが人質じゃなくても。それはどういう？Mean by that? I try to ask one. The sounds of an urgent news news flash flows on the TV. I don't like the shift here. I really don't. The subtitles read, Terrorist bomb threat was- BAKUHA TERO YOKOKU? ZUKA, ZENBA AKIHABARA EKI TOTTERU JAN. MAYUSHI KAEREN NAIN JANE. HONTO DA! IEE NI 
に電話しなくちゃ<笑>テロリストボンブ I don't know why but I've got a bad feeling about this There's the fact that only the, the lines pass through after you have it are suspended as if that were the target Wait Maybe that's actually a hint That's the location of the terrorist bomb threat Akihabara? It feels like that Okabe Rintaro Hitotsu kikasete Time leap machine wa Kansei shite ru nda yo ne Yeah, why do you think we're having a party? Huh? Oh Sokka Atashi Yoji omoi dashita kara ちょっと出かけてくる。Uh, okay. Weird time to be doing that, but fine. So Zep only says so and quickly leaves the lab. なんなの、彼女。So Zep has suspicious actions. Are they related to the terrorist bomb threat? Why did she just ask if the time leap machine was complete? Something crosses my mind. The two threat mails. You're being watched. You know too much. Who sent those? Not just that. Almost like a flashback. Several things that I had turned blind eye to now cause anxiety to run through my veins. Her head. CERN. LHC. Jellyman. Z program. Top secret national information from France, England, and Holland. Organization. Black Suits. Council of 300. Time Leap Machine. What Kurusu said. By themselves, I could overlook each and each of these things by telling them it'll probably be okay. But now that I consider them all as points on one line, all I can think is that we've stepped on an outrageous landmine. Anxiety won't leave my mind, as if a cold hand is gripping around my heart, choking. Even though it should be humid, my body shivers from the cold. Shouldn't we run away? But we can't use the train. What about the subway? Or a bus? Or a taxi? Nobody's saying anything. Nobody's doing anything. What should we do? A soft feeling on my fingers. When I look, my ear firmly, firmly grips my hand with anxiety on her face. It's okay. I'm thinking too much. It's just a coincidence. Let's relinquish the time leap machine tomorrow. We can forget about everything. I didn't see anything. We're not seeing anything. I don't need money. As long as I can forget about today and welcome tomorrow. It's okay. Right? Anxiety doesn't disappear. I look over my Yuri's head to the lab's entrance, to the door's lock. The lock's open. Anyone can come in if they wanted. I hear a fire engine siren from outside the window. Akiba is visibly in an uproar. And yet, it's so silent. Inside the lab, and outside the lab. It's so silent! I firmly grip back my Yuri's warm, slender fingers. The door is suddenly kicked open. Afterwards, I see several black shadows breaking into the lab. With movements all too quick, with sharpness all too trained, and with pointed guns. 
Nobody's in the lab, including me. Nobody in the lab, including me. And time to to do such as, to do so much as scream. About five men had broken in. I don't recognize a single one of them. They're dressed in showy shirts and shorts, polo shorts and jeans. A casual appearance. But the arms sticking out of their short sleeves are awful thick. Furthermore, their shape glares are enough their sharp glares are enough to make you shiver. The men are holding guns. And not just shotguns. Several of them have automatic rifles. AK 47s in Akiba. The heart of Tokyo? What kind of joke is this? The only thing certain is that these guys aren't your average shoppers or tourists. <laughs> Among the hidden intruders, a dark skinned crew cut man lets out a crushing voice. Like a dream. Or a movie scene? This is the first time so many people have gathered in this room since I started renting it. It feels fully it feels awfully narrow. I thought that out of place thought. The first to raise his hands is Daru. Then Kurusu. And then me. Mayuri. Silence. Stand still. The intruders say no more. The men hold Hold their guns and ready. Their muzzles pointed towards us with their hands up. A comic's laughing voice flows from the TV. What is this? Are we on candid camera? I think that's optimistic though. Now I hear a new sound. Beyond the door, kicked open. This is the sound of heels. A woman is coming up the stairs. Are the intruders waiting for that woman? Is she the commander of these strong men or something? The attack force and their female commander. It's almost like a manga. Reality fades. Eventually the heel of a woman's of a woman appears. <laughs> no. You're telling me I was right?! Damn it! Kiryu... Moeko? The editorial part-timer. The male demon. The dark woman who always glares at her phone. Lab Mem 005. That Moeka is the leader of the intruders? This woman, without any ambition. This woman, who always looks down instead of directly at my face. Even now! This is bullshit! While hearing her usual subdued speech, which is completely unfitting, I almost feel like laughing, but I don't. My heart's bouncing too damn loudly. The, ins of the inside of my mouth is dry. Even if it is bullshit, I can't laugh. I'm a bubble with my hands in the air. Makise Chris, Okabe Gintaro, Hashida Itaru, Sanmei Nitsuitawa. What about Mayuri? I don't understand. What the hell is this? Why is it Kiryu Moaka? I don't know. So I have to ask. I wish this was a fucking joke. God damn it, I was right! I don't see this ending well for us. I do not see this ending well for us at all. Moka shakes her head at my question. 
という意味抵抗は許されないとにかく来て Fuck you <笑>どこへだ<笑> No words Meaning she doesn't intend to answer that either Dangerous These guys are dangerous You can tell they're not normal by how they have guns I know we'll get in serious trouble if we come with these guys I try to refuse but my voice is hoarse I unconsciously look at these guys as guns those are real aren't they they won't suddenly start shooting right <laughs> Basically, fuck you and your guns. Get the hell out. No way. My disquieting imagination sparks in my head like an electric shock. No way. It was these guys who stopped the train without, with that bomb threat? For what purpose? So we can't run away? Just for that? Like I said before, fuck you! Kurusu, who had kept silent until now, finally opened her mouth. Yeah, that's the fucking disturbing part of this. What the hell's gonna happen to my Yuri? Why is she not coming? That's when I first noticed that she hadn't included my Yuri. The conversation's flowing in parallel lines. The standoff continues. Oh, oh, Karin. Dara whispers to me while waving, or wavering. His face is visibly pale. To you to I would like some questions answered first, though. Honestly, I have no idea what to do. My heart is still fluttering. It seems more like a dream than reality. Reality has already left this room. And I love Mila Ota. So I haven't seen really gun real guns before. If I had to say, the black luster of these guys' guns feels more cheap than dignified. God damn it! If, if you told me they were model guns, I'd agree. Mahoka certainly was a strange woman. But I welcomed her as a lab mem, fully aware of that. What does Mahoka think? My ears question almost asks for me. Mawoka answers that question. By pulling out a gun out of a shirt and readying it. Which reminds me, today, Mawoka isn't gripping that purple phone. I thought she had an unhealthy dependence on her phone and would never let go of it. So this was unexpected. Not like noticing that now matters. Moka's gun hand shakes pitifully. If she tenses in that situation too, or is she tense in that situation too? Of course, by nature, Moka's not good at take talking with people face to face. <laughs> 
あなたたちの口を封じるため。Well, then why do we have to come with you? You're the assholes with the guns! It wouldn't take that fucking long! Silence us? それは、拒否しても変わらない。Basically, she means to kill us? What the hell's with that? Moka suddenly lifts her face. That Moka looks straight at me. Her cloudy eyes, which seem daunting to me. Her emotionless voice whispers, Selun. Damn it. CERN? M4! The dark skinned man says something ambiguous, as if addressing Moaka. <laughs> Heeding him, Moaka hangs her head again. But I play back with the words that woman's just said. CERN? It was CERN? I knew it was CERN. Why CERN? Why? Moaka raises her voice in frustration. How the hell are we gonna want to come with you? You're pointing guns at us. I don't think that exactly means we want to. Moika slowly raises her gun hand. She points its muzzle to. <gasps> no. Don't you fucking do this. We'll come with you. Don't fucking do it! My Yuri. My whole body instantly goes pale. Shina, my Yuri, wa. Hitsuyou nai. Don't you fucking do it! Hiyose! I try lunging at Moka. But as soon as I take a step in the dark skinned crew, cut man. Draws closer. Close faster to me. <laughs> A strong impact to my chin. That shock spreads around my whole body and carries away. My body staggers. Strength suddenly, suddenly saps from my knees. Stars fall through the sky. My sight. Everything turns pitch black. My vision goes away. I don't understand what happened. Was I struck with a gun? Okay. When I lift my face, Mayuri reaches out her hand to, to me in tears. Then over Mayuri's shoulder, I see Moaka ready her, ready her handgun. Don't, please. I'm begging you. But my voice, my hoarse voice, won't come out. I just look stupid, spewing out air. Someone, stop her! Stop Moika! Moika moves her lips. She's mumbling something. Please, don't do this! We can work this out! Her lips close tightly. I get goosebumps. Stop. With a dry sound. 
Everything moves in slow motion. The passage of time slows down. Moak is gone. She pulls the trigger. Bam. Blood fl flutters from my Yuri's forehead. Warm liquid splashes onto my face. My Yuri's delicate, small body falls towards me. I catch it. Mary's body was like a marionette, with its strings cut. Her head and her limbs droop, powerless. My nose is assaulted by the smell of gunpowder. And then, the smell of blood. Dara screams while holding his head, falling to his knees on the spot. That voice brings me to my senses. In my arms. My Yuri breathes her dying breaths. <gasps> Damn it! <sighs> my Yuri. Died. Mayuri died. Mayuri's face was stained red. That stain soaks into my hands, too. Very warm. Mayuri's body moves, not a twitch. I say again, fuck you. It reaches my ears. I hear that voice. But I don't hear those words. What is this? What the hell is this? Some kind of joke? Some kind of prank? We... may have made something outrageous. That's a lie, right? It's a lie, isn't it? I only... lose my words. I lose my feelings. I shake my Yuri's shoulder. My Yuri? Hey, wake up, Mayuri. If you sleep here, you'll catch a cold. If you're sleepy, why not stay overnight? Or should I send you off to Ikebukuro before Daru joins us? Before Daru joined us, Mayuri and I would spend hours in the lab lazing around and then take the train all the way back to Ikebukuro. All, this my eerie, all the smiles my eerie smiles spin around and round in my head. If I look away, it'll disappear. I'm worried I won't see it. It's alive, right? Say it's a lie! Give me your... <laughs> laugh. Give me your strange tuturu greeting. It's a lie. It has to be a lie! Lie, 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 lie!
My brain is stained red. Anger. Hatred. Anger. Hatred. Anger. Hatred. Anger. 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 Hatred. Hatred. Anger. Hatred. Hatred. Anger. I want to kill everything! I gently lay the motionless Mayuri to rest on the floor. I stand up. I try to plop down on the barrel roll to approach my Yuri and oh, down and barrel roll to approach my Yuri, Moaka. She grabs my arm from behind. Moaka's gun is now pointed to my brow. The friend gear is ready on the trigger. Let them fucking try! I shake off Kurusu's shaking hand. My vision becomes a tunnel with Mocha on the other side. I cannot forgive this woman. Just like she mercilessly killed my Yuri. I WILL KILL HER! <laughs> As your small shadow soar, it strikes Moaka's gun hand. <laughs> what? What happened? Did I do it? The sound of gunfire echoes before my eyes, stunning my ears. Tremendous pain from my ear. My feet shake again. But I'm not dead. Was I saved? When I take a good look, Moke had dropped her gun. At her feet, a small stone. Sit there. What the? Suzuha! Suzuha appears before I noticed her. Knocking down one of the attackers close to the entryway. Yeah, you can kick their fucking ass! And she plunges into the, another man's chest. This is not the time, but look. She's being a fucking badass. Josie deserves this. She lunges forth with a sharp elbow strike. The attackers turn their guns towards her. She slides to their feet of the man at the rear, shipping them. And with smooth, flowing motions, she drives her knee into the man's face as he falls. <laughs> The remaining dark-skinned crew guy tries to shoot his automatic rifle, but before she can, Suzuha snatches a stunned attacker's gun and shoots him. The blood spurts out of the man's hand. Without stopping, Suzuha delivers a soaring soccer ball kick to the squatting crew to the cut, cut guy's jaw. Suzuha? I know you're probably in a bad spot right now, too. But I want you to know... You've got a clean fucking shot. Moka thrusts her guns at Suzuha's nose. After she had instantly mowed down the five barely men. Moka, you son of a bitch. You better not shoot Suzuha, too. Mayuri was bad enough, but if you shoot Suzuha dead, I fucking swear, I will end you. Suzuha points her gun to Moka's neck in response. I stare down. Silence returns. Suzuha murmurs a cryptic number. She glances at me. <gasps> I know what she did! What's with her broken speech? I knew it. Next to me, Kudrusu suddenly stands up and rushes into the development room. I finally realize the meaning of Suzu has ambiguous words. Forty-two, TV, turned on. She means the forty-two-inch brown tube TV downstairs. Basically, use the time leap machine. I look towards Mayuri's corpse. 
She's laying quietly. Closed eyes. Never to open again. One of the attackers Susan had knocked out starts to moan. If the attackers wake up, it'll be impossible to move. Suzuha looks at me again, pleading eyes. If I time leap, I can go back to m before my Yuri's death. But if I fail, my, ve my memories could very well be destroyed. If I fail? What am I hesitating for? My Yuri's dead! Killed. Like hell I can accept this absurd reality! I'll change it. I'll change this reality. If I have a way to change it, I'll use it. I have a way to change it. So how could I use it? How could I not use it? With staggered legs, I leap into the development room. Caduce is about to pull, put on the headgear. I pull it away from her. I grab Caduce's wrist as she tries to take it back. I stare at her wet eyes. I'm more experienced with this whole world line slang than you are, Kurosu. Don't worry. I ignore her and put on the headgear. It looks like Moa's, Mocha's last shot got, grazed my ear. One of my ears is stunned and can't hear, any, can't hear anything but ringing. There's blood on my neck, but I don't mind it. I might fail, but I have to try. This is all I have to save my Yuri. Kurosu bites her lip and starts setting up this X-68000. Yeah, I know, Suzuha. I got you. We're going! <laughs> The crew-cut man staggers into the development room. Right away, I take future gadget number four, Monad Snake, off the shelf. I push the switch. My vision turns white. I can't see anything. I can't tell anything. Severe pain in my right arm. Was I shot? Like I give a shit. After that, beyond the smoke, bluish white lightning. The discharge phenomenon is starting. The bluish white light grows more extreme. My feet shake intensively. The ring singularity opens. I push down the headgear with one hand and crouch. My Yuri. I won't die. I'll cross through time to save you. So, wait for me. Tremendous shaking. Leap. My memories. Leap to the past. Chapter 6 Metaphysics Necrosis.